Uh, you know what? Well, let's let, let's just talk in general about 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 the same uh, uh, idea as the last video. Let's just talk about clicks and stuff like that. Um, all right. So um, now I'm thinking about California right now, and I know that I know that it was split between the Latino gangs. They split it between North and South. All right, and um, it split pretty much. It's like you know, half and half or, or, or down the middle almost or, or whatnot. Um, I know that the cliques in, uh, in California are very old, uh, as far as I know, because apparently some of the gangs uh, were started in like the 60s or the 70s. Um, I know that they, that uh, there were gangs kind of like the... I think I think I think either they were Bloods and Crips or they were father gangs of of Bloods and Crips like like older than them, uh, but there were gangs of of uh, black guys would make gangs, um, Hispanics would make gangs, and whites would make gangs. And you know what? I'm gonna refer you back to a a movie. It was called The Warriors. Uh, if anybody remembers, I think it was was it did it come out in the '70s or '80s or something? Um, that was a real like gang movie, you know, like an old school gang movie, um, because, sorry, my nose is so itchy, um, it was an actual gang movie because, um, I remember, it, uh, the, the guys typically, um, wore vests, I think it was supposed to be a summer night, uh, but the story goes that, uh, I think his name was Cyrus, Cyrus was some very senior gang member, he called a meeting, so he called everybody to this park at night, and he had a podium and a, and a speaker and everything. And there were gangs, like all the gangs from the city. I, I forgot what city it was even. I, mean, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because the movie was fictional. But all the gangs join up and he's given that speech. Um, and I think uh, like each gang sent like 12 to 14 members in. Um, and there was like 75, 80 gangs there. So there was a lot of guys there, a lot of people. Um, one of the gang members shoot Cyrus and then claims that it was the Warriors gang that did it. Uh, the Warriors gang now has to fight their way through subways and back alleys and streets and stuff to, to make it uh, through all these different gangs to make it back to their base. Um, but that was a bit of a, a, a movie because, you know, there was a lot of brawling going on, uh, all different kinds of weapons, brass knuckles, beer bottles, uh, large chains, knives, uh, and of course, even guns. So, you know, I think The Warriors was a big kind of a gang movie. T to be very honest, I, I, I found the movie just to be um, a little too over the top. I mean, it looked like it was caveman days. I don't understand that. Uh, anyways, you know, I just thought I'd throw that in there just to get some content in there because I really wasn't, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to come up with enough content enough content so um yeah you know you got you got clicks that get broken down between streets and all that stuff and then they join a larger gang or a, or a larger organization that is quite common i know that the bloods and the crips will we'll take streets and and you know say okay this is they'll name the gangs after those streets the reason that i know this is because there are popular or famous rappers as of today i'm not saying that i listen to them but there are popular uh, uh rappers who um um who do uh who have become noticed and then they represent these, these these smaller street gangs uh i you know should knight was in the pyro and then apparently that was in was it in compton or something that he had he had those gang ties um Shug was supposed to be deep in the game too and the funny thing about Shug knight is that apparently he had like a football he was a he had a he went to university or college and he was in like he was supposed to be a pretty good football player he was in the football team um but anyways uh it's gone um so yeah so so i mean i mean i think there's supposed to be hundreds of clicks in a, within the within each side of the of, of california um uh, what else is it? There's really, I don't think there's much to say. I wanted to talk more about the Playboy gang, but there's not really that much. Um, you know, I was just, uh, I, I was a bit impressed with, with the lyrics uh, of, of the song. It kind of made me think about when I was younger. 
uh, when I was like 20 years old and, and I thought about it and I was like, man, that song, it was almost like, like, like had I heard it at that time, I would have been like, oh, oh God, that's, that's, that, that song was made like just for me, obviously it wasn't, but you know, when, when I heard the lyrics, I was like, oh wow, you know, these lyrics are really cool, man. Like this guy's doing a good job and he's actually flowing well and he's got some talent. Um, let's move on. Um, are, are there any infamous clicks that I know? No, no, there's nothing. I, I don't have that much knowledge on, on, on gang clicks. Um, I just find it, I, I, I don't like to focus on one particular street or block. I just, I don't know, I'm not really, uh, really into that. Now, um, I know that Chicago has a lot of gangs, uh, and I've talked about this. They got Folk Nation, which is, um, which is the Disciples in there, and, uh, and, and some other gangs, and then you got the other side, which is mainly Latin Kings. Um, no, it, it, yeah, so, I mean, every gang claims a neighborhood and whatnot. Every gang has a different mode of, uh, a functioning. Uh, but yeah, that is what it is. I know and New York is big on gangs. You know what I mean? But, but sometimes I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like, uh, you know, in New York, the gangs get more respect than they do in Toronto. Um, one of the reasons is that I, I, I think there's a, there's a, I think in Toronto, there's a huge imbalance between the police and the gangs where, the police have a lot of power and influence, even in illegal activities. And the funny thing is that most of the gangs here are queer gangs. So they are gay and, and I think the police kind of likes dealing with queer gangs more. Um, for whatever reason. And uh, uh, yeah, it's not, it's, it's definitely not Chicago or New York here. Um, but I don't know. Um, but 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 that's not really important. That's not important at all. You know, if you're representing, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you're representing New York when you come here, you're representing, representing Chicago when you come here, you have enough pull anyways. You know what I mean? Um, as an American, you, 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 will have, you will have significant pull. A lot of the business and all the money that comes into Toronto is all from America. Either way, you know, all the money and everything, all this business, everything comes in from all the influence and everything comes in from there. Um... But yeah, this is this is a big like like the police community runs things when it comes to drugs and and, and all that stuff. It's run by the police community and and some of the organized crime like like that like the Italian mafia and all that. Um, I mean, it's in conjunction with the police because like uh, like there is such a huge amount of it of Italians or well they they wouldn't call themselves Italians. They would call themselves like Ital Italian Canadians. There's a lot of Italian Canadians in um, in the police force, and so there's a bit of a you know like they get a pass with organized crime, so they're doing better than any street gang or anything because they're connected to the police, right? So the police will allow them to to run and do as they want, and then they won't get caught and they'll get let go. So it makes their job easier as as, as organized crime, and 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 it makes them um, profit off of that. Now I've talked about how there's certain gangs that like could be a biker gang or something, but they have a different approach. Their approach is more threatening. Like, you know, you are going to allow us to operate. Okay. Okay. Fine. You know what I mean? And, um, but at the same time, it's not like they don't have pull. They have pull, but the thing is that they have pull in like the small, uh, so the small towns actually make up a higher population. When you combine them, they have a higher population than, than the city, right? All these small towns are, are, are predominantly white, right? And they, they have a different style than, than city people. But, um, you know, the, a lot of the biker gangs come out of these towns. Um, and they are feared and respected because I've talked to guys and I've hung out with guys from these towns and, 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 you know, I spent like about, I think it was a six, seven weeks that, that we went out and we, I mean, that we flew down to uh, Vancouver and then Winnipeg and we, and we were hanging out all day, working all day together. And um, definitely, you know, um, you know, bikers do have a reputation to, to intimidate people. Um, and at the same time, they kind of get respect also. But they do have that. Now, now what does that mean? I mean if you if you if you're if you're well connected in these small towns, 
you, you might have a background with the French and the British. To me, the French and the British are pretty much like the people here. Um, kind of like how in Dubai the Emiratis are. Here it's like in Canada, it's, that's how the French and the British are. I'm talking about like French and British that go back to the 1800s. And there are a lot of families that go back to 1800s and, and, and late 1800s um, who have French and British ties here. Yeah, they're they're like the original Canadians that I, in, in my opinion, um, the Italians faced a lot. Like they used to call the Italians guineas and all that when they first came here when they're immigrating here. Um, but I mean, they did a good job of getting into it, getting into the system. I I will be honest. I don't think the Canadian system was meant for a guy like me, and and I'm not trying to get into the Canadian system. Um, it's not like you know. I can just make contacts wherever I want and do whatever I want. That's not the case at all. And I mean that seriously. Uh, but the Canadian system is not meant for me. And if I'm going to live here, I'm going to use the American system. Um, and, I'm, and I would like to represent America and then it be you know, just like an American. You know, if I'm going to live here for, for, for some time, I'd like to live it all as an American. All right, all right that's it. I'm done.